this demonstration of Matrix 1, we're going to show how the matrix can be used in the sales process from the sales quote to order fulfillment. Sophie, our sales rep, has had contact with a customer and she wants to review the styles that are available for men's dress shoe and teen jerseys. The customer decides to test out the jerseys and the dress shoes and so they place an order. At which time Sophie places the order into the system, also checking the quantity available or on hand. She then creates a purchase order for the footwear using the prepack function to create that PO. Once the stock is received, the order is shipped out to the customer, and Sophie then sends an email to the customer of their invoice. Let's jump into the life software and take a look at this process. The first thing Sophie's going to do is go to the item master data for the items that the customer is interested in, starting with Jersey. She's going to go ahead and take a look at the attributes that are available for this, this jersey. Notice that it's available in colors black, white, and yellow, and such as small, medium, large, and extra large. She's also going to take a look at the dress shoe to see what colors or attributes are available for the shoe. You'll notice we have a few shoes available here, but specifically this customer is interested in the men's dress shoe. Again, we're going to come over here and take a look at the attributes. The first thing you'll notice is that this time there are three attributes available, color, size, and width. Again, there are the colors, and there are the sizes, 8 through 13, but also the width, regular, wide, and extra wide. These attributes are just what the customer is after, and so they decide they want to go ahead and place a sales order for these items. So Sophie jumps into the sales module and creates a sales order for our favorite customer, Earthshaker. To begin with, we'll do our jersey. You'll notice the matrix order entry screen appears that contains the attributes we just reviewed on the item master data. And you can see how quickly we can come over here and plug in the quantities that are requested by the customer for this sales order. Also notice that you can see the quantity available for each size and color by highlighting the field and looking at the quantity available down here. Once Sophie's decided that she's entering the quantities that are needed for the sales order, she simply clicks here and transfers it back to the order. Now you can see those items on the sales order, the quantity that was entered here, and also the description. So we did teen jersey in black, white, and yellow, and you can see the size is small and medium. We can also add the men's dress shoe to this order as well. We'll just select the men's dress shoe from our available shoes. And again, you'll see the matrix order entry screen appear. However, the difference this time is that we not only have color and size available as attributes, but we also have tabs for the various widths for the shoe, regular, wide, and extra wide. And again, we can simply punch in the quantities here that Earthshaker is interested in and transfer back to the sales order. Just like that, with really just a few clicks, we've populated a sales order now for items that have various attributes, color, size, and width for the jerseys as well as for the shoes. We can add that order to the system and then follow the basic business one process all the way to the AR invoice for that order. Matrix one can also be used in purchasing. Let's go ahead and create a purchase order for those dress shoes. Again, we're going to select the men's dress shoe. And you'll notice that the order entry screen for the matrix appears just like it did in the sales process. And one option that's really handy with the matrix is that we have the option to use a prepackaged quantity or prepack ID template. In other words, if I want to order one prepackaged quantity for black shoes, all I do is enter the quantity of the prepacks that I want there, and then select the template, and the quantity is filling automatically. Again, this is often the case when you are purchasing shoes that come in prepackaged quantities. Just like in the sales process now, we simply transfer this back to the purchase order. Now, of course, once we've added this purchase order to the system, we can go ahead and create the goods received from that purchase order. So we don't have the need to rekey all that information. We can just simply copy the last production, the last purchase order into this goods receipt PO with the copy wizard. There are all the shoes that were on the prepack template that we selected. And when we add this to the system, then we can go in and complete the delivery for the sales order to Earthshaker.
So we'll go ahead and create that delivery now. Again, rather than rekey the data from the sales order, we'll just simply copy the last sales order directly into the delivery. Using the wizard here then, we copy our jerseys and our shoes in, and you can see that everything copied straight across, including the quantity and the price. And of course, we can just add this to the system. And now that this delivery is in the system, Sophie can go ahead and create the AR invoice and email this to Earthshaker. Again, with the same process. Again, by pulling up our customer and copying the delivery directly into the invoice. So you can see how quickly it is to complete the sales process all the way from the order to the AR invoice using the matrix. Copying again all of our child items here for the jerseys and the shoes. You can add this to the system and very simply recall this and email it to Daniel Brown. We'll go ahead and include the AR invoice as an attachment in the email. And send this out to Daniel Brown. And that's the matrix in the sales process. In this demonstration, we will review using Matrix 1 in a production environment. Our production manager is going to review the matrix for the Teen Jerseys product line, which is a new product line. And he'll notice that the pricing for the new jerseys is incorrect, and so he's going to change that price and explode that change down to the child items for the teen jersey. And he's going to review a sales order placed by Sophie for the new jerseys. He's also going to create a production order from that sales order to expedite the delivery to Earthshaker since they're our favorite customer. So at once the production order has been created, he will review the production order with its due date and release the production order to the shop floor. The shop floor will then manufacture the jersey. And once it's manufactured, then the matrix can be used to receive from the production order the quantity that was actually completed. And then, of course, the finished goods can be shipped to the customer. Let's go back to the software and take a look at how this works. First of all, our manager goes to the item master data for the jersey. He notices that the price is set to $15, and it really needs to be $12. So very easily we can update the price right here and then also explode that change down to the child items. In just a matter of a few clicks and a few seconds we can easily explode that change to the child items and they will all be priced at $12 each. And to demonstrate this we can switch to find mode and pull up those jerseys and notice that the price was adjusted to $12 as well. Now our manager is going to review a sales order that Sophie created for Earthshaker. It's a sales order that needs to be expedited to Earthshaker. It looks like it's for our teen jersey, and so he's going to add a shipping date of today and update that. And very quickly, he can also create the production order right from the sales order and create those jerseys. Notice production order number 28 was created. Now again, once the production order has been complete, released to the shop floor and complete, we can use the matrix to receive what was actually produced. So notice we have our due date here, and our manager is going to release this to the shop floor. Again, once the goods receipt has been completed, our, in other words, all the materials have been issued for this job, then we use the matrix production receipt to enter into the system what was actually produced. Now this inventory has been received into the warehouse and can be shipped out to Daniel Brown at Earthshaker.